Hi, David Dimitri here in the Monkey Mallet's Monkey Cave again, where all the Monkey Mallet's magic happens. Sometimes. We're here today to talk about rattan. I'm guessing you may have clicked through from a listing of Monkey Mallet's with rattan handles, and you may be wondering one of three things. First, what's a monkey mallet? If that's your question, I would suggest that you go to one of the other demo videos. They go into depth on the super lightweight, low volume monkey mallet practice mallets, all the virtues thereof. Right now I want to talk about the rattan, which raises two other questions. Why rattan, number one, and why the big price difference, number two. So, number one, why rattan? Rattan has different characteristics than birch. And it's completely, totally subjective choice. There's no right or wrong answer here. Rattan is much more flexible than the birch. And for a lot of people, what that means it is, is that it absorbs energy from the strike, the actual strike of the bar. I don't get that buzzing in the heel of my palm. And for me, that's aggravating, so I tend to go with rattan all the time if I can. I'm getting a nice sound out of them. Nice feel. Also, if you'll notice, kind of kind of wobbly there. That's because the mallet itself it is wobbling after I hit it. That's dissipating the energy from the strike. If you'll notice on the birch handles, no flexibility. We don't have that wobble, that post-strike wobble. Now a lot of marimbas, professional marimbists and student marimbists prefer birch on the marimba because they feel it gives them more accuracy. The, the mallet's not wobbling around and it gives them more minute control over what happens when that mallet head hits the bar. I myself tend not to have accuracy issues. Well, at least not accuracy issues that are down to the to the stick. I think most of my accuracy issues are down to practice. Wacky resonators, things like that. Like that. So a lot of marimbas do prefer the rattan as well, it's it's up to you. The other thing I like about the rattan, this, especially this rattan that I've got from Asia, that we just got a shipment in from Asia, is it's got this really nice lustrous finish to it that just feels beautiful in my hand. It's so smooth and just has a really nice feel. A lot of vibraphone players prefer rattan because of damping issues. See that flex there? It might give you more control over how to fade in or fade out that 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 note. And also it has just a jazzy feel because of that wobbly bit. It has that feel of sort of loosey goosey. So it's 50-50. It's completely up to you. There's no right or wrong answer, like I said. Now the pricing issue. Rattan basically is harvested like this. It's not milled down from a big piece of lumber into smaller pieces of lumber like this, like the birch. And then in 
Asia. It's finished with this really nice, nice finish. So besides shipping costs and the finishing costs, the processing costs, rattan is harvested a lot of times in environmentally sensitive areas like mangrove swamps or estuarian environments where it's a foundational species, it's a habitat species of reed. If you take too much rattan out of the environment, you risk losing other species who depend on it for habitat. And so over the years it has been over harvested and environmental controls have been instituted to limit the export and the harvesting and the export of the rattan. What that does, of course, squeezes the market, makes it really hard to get a hold of the rattan, hard to find a supplier, and the shipping costs from some of these places are quite incredible. So the cost is, is more because the, of the limits on the supply. that. So I just, when I get these in my hand, I just can't stop hitting. Because that's typical, typical drummer talk. Anyway, so I think that explains why the cost difference. My philosophy towards the cost difference for me personally, with all the mounts that I own, is that I'm going to have these things in, a, in my hands a long time. I'm going to own them a long time. I'm going to use, especially with the practice mallets, I'm going to have them in my hands hundreds of hours of repetitive, repetitive stuff. I want it to feel nice. And I want it to do the job that it has to do. So I prefer the rattan. I think that while the, the price differential proportionally can be double or more, it's well worth it in terms of the investment in long-term enjoyment, if that makes any sense. So I think that covers it, the cost and the feel, the ch making the choice. And again, if you have any questions about monkey mallets, practice mallets in general, you can refer to other websites. I wanted to keep this particular video short today. So thanks a lot for watching. As you can tell, I need to get practicing on my accuracy issues. Thanks.